least I've ever been. And I've got Victoria and her wonderful daughter Maria to thank for that. Aww. Ever since they came into my life, we've created a fabulous little unit together, and that's made something that feels really special. I want to thank Victoria's daughter Maria for all her help and support. Uh, she wrote the place cards, but she's got the nicest handwriting of all <laughs> And just generally being ace. She's so clever and funny and talented. And if I didn't have her blessing, well, you'd be staring at an empty chair. <laughs> uh, thinking this wedding's weird. <laughs> <laughs> she's accepted me into her family, for that I'm eternally grateful. Her friendship and thoughtfulness is not something I take for granted, but we really value our time together whether it's discussing Marvel books or movies or walking the dogs. She's amazing and becoming more spectacular every day, but how could she not have a mother like this? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maria and Charlie, for being such wonderful bridesmaids. You both look stunning, and I hope people got pictures, because the whole thing just kind of melted my heart. I want to thank Hunt Wally for walking her down the aisle. I know that Victoria loves you and Auntie Jen so very much. And having met you, now do I. But you do have a really cute dog, so that's <laughs> Thanks to Carol, Victoria's mum, you've made me feel so welcome and part of the family. Which is great, because now I am one, and now there's no <laughs> On Victoria's behalf, I have to say thank you so much for the shoes. <laughs> Apparently, it's all about the shoes. <laughs> I didn't realise, but I've since found out that bedrooms are not really just for sleeping in, they're also shoe cupboards. <laughs> I also want to thank Xavier and Neil for helping out with DJ duties. To Selena for the balloons, also so I'll make it today, and Graham for his sound system. I'd particularly like to thank my credit cards for helping organise today's event. <laughs> Victoria and I will be forever in your debt. <laughs> thank you, Scott, for carrying out his best man duties admirably. Although you still must. <laughs> Sisters, Amory and Heather for their part in the ceremony. It's wonderful that you've come so far to share in our special session. Lastly, I'd like to thank Victoria's sister Jennifer, who sadly passed away. She was always your strongest supporter. She loved you in every way and will forever be with us. That little voice inside cheering you on, or rather that loud, hilariously happy voice. <laughs> Being with Jen and Victoria together was always like seeing both sides of a mirror. <laughs> always full of laughter and joy. We miss you dearly, Jen, and I know that she's smiling down on us today. She also introduced me to the greatest one-line joke that I've ever heard, which is, have you ever seen a bus stop? electricity that's just never gone away. I asked her on a date of sorts, just to come round for a meal and chill and see how we got on. Well, it must have gone pretty well, because I think you went home on day four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was just for a change of clothes. <laughs> and do you remember the first time that ever went round to your flat to meet Maria? We got raided by the police. <laughs> We've just gone into lockdown, true story. Two burly officers turned up, wanted to find out where the loud party was, which the neighbours had complained about. They burst through the door, and to find Maria and I sat on the floor, playing scale <laughs>
single yellow rose outside your door one evening just to tell you how much I love you. Oh. Along with a couple of half-eaten Easter eggs from the rest of my house, which you requested I return. <laughs> <laughs> the effect of which looks slightly less romantic. <laughs> she does wonderful romantic gestures for me, too. After our engagement, she left two love heart chocolates on my pillow as a declaration of love for when I came to bed. She was asleep, I was oblivious, and the next morning I woke up with one stuck to my face, the other got smeared into in the bed, and I woke up and thought I'd shut myself. <laughs> <clears throat> and you weren't allowed to see anybody that you weren't living with. <laughs> so we had a choice, either not see each other, or actually move in together. <laughs> so right there and then, we took the plunge, oh. and we never looked back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. It's hard to explain how when you know, you know, oh. but you do. There's so many things I love about her. She's supremely funny, she's witty and clever, often without realising, as she was said to be outside a shop, don't do that, what if a blind man saw you? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget it's Black Friday on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favourite, I'm not a maverick, maverick's got a beard. <laughs> Genius. I can't really express in words how much I adore her and just want to spend my life making her happy. I just love everything about her. She's the most beautiful face, eyes that smile and sparkle, and perfect lips. I love the way she engages with people and creates connections with everyone she meets. I love that we like the same things. Not completely. She gets passionate about chair designs the same way I talk about superheroes. But it's the little things. We have a thing called pillow talk where we just lie in bed and look into each other's eyes and just be cute and kind and loving. And if anyone saw us, they would absolutely vomit at us. <laughs> but it works. There's sparks and love, but it just feels like I'm topping up my soul when I look at her. It's softy, I know, but I hope you'll forgive me. It is my wedding day. <laughs> but I've never had anyone just look at me with so much love. It's there all the time in her eyes. She thinks I'm perfect for her, and I think she's perfect for me. I'm so proud of the woman she's become, and of the little life we're carving out together. It's just a life I've always wanted. So please, raise a glass to my beautiful blushing bride. Oh Thank you for being oh the happiest man in the world. I promise to do right by you, to love you, and to devote myself to you. It's forever now, Mrs. Bailey. I hope you're ready for this. A lifetime of love, love, laughter, Dancing the four besides. <coughs> oh shit, we didn't really have to see it. We'll do it for Scott Smith. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, right. Oh, right. No pressure, Scott. No pressure, man. <laughs> I always will. Please raise your glasses to Victoria. Woo!